earth, filled with lush forest and animals ranging from great to small. Oceans rage and mountains climb higher than the eye can see. People roam nearly every part of this great world. It's beautiful, but where did it all come from? Who made this world? What's going on kids? Pastor Jacob here with another Life Group video. I don't know about all y'all, but I love nature. I love seeing pictures of nature and just being out in the world and seeing the beauty that is nature. It's so incredible. Do you know where the world and everything in it came from? I bet a lot of you do. Today, we're going to be in Genesis chapter one and we're going to be exploring creation. Genesis is the very first book in the Bible, so it should be so easy for you to find it. Take a minute and find Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the dark from the light. He called the light day and the darkness night. Evening came, and then morning the first day. The next day, God said, let there be an expanse between the waters. So God made the expanse and he called that expanse sky. Evening came, then morning, the second day. Then God said, let the waters below the heavens be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear. God called the dry land earth and the gathered waters sea. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth sprout trees and plants that bear fruits and seeds. And God saw that it was good. Evening came and then morning, the third day. God said, let there be lights in the sky that separate day and night and are signs for the seasons and the days and the years. So God made the lesser light with the stars to rule the night and the greater light to rule the day. And God saw that it was good. Evening came, and then morning, the fourth day. Next, God said, Let the seas be filled with living creatures, and the skies be filled with birds who fly above the earth. So God created every creature that lives in the oceans, from dolphins to whales to sharks and squids to clownfish. And then God created every winged bird, from falcon to eagle to blue jay and robin, that flies above the earth. Evening came, and then morning, the fifth day. Next, God said, let the earth be filled with living creatures, from cows to rabbits to creepy crawlies to lions and tigers and bears, oh my. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. So God made man in his own image. God made man a helper and called her woman. He placed them in the Garden of Eden and told them to rule the plants and the animals of the world. God told the man and the woman they could eat from any tree in the garden except the tree, the knowledge of good and evil. God saw all that he was made and said it was good. Evening came, then morning, the sixth day. The seventh day came, and on this day, God rested. The story of creation is one of the most exciting and dramatic stories in all of the Bible. God just spoke and things were created. That is just so incredible. Are you able to talk things into existence? Yeah, me neither. But God created all of this world with just his word. Did you also notice that at the end of every day, God saw that what he created was good? This is super important because God calling something good is different than us calling something good. If God calls something good, that means it's perfect because it was designed and created by the perfect and good God. But I think we all know things don't stay good. When man had the choice to obey God, well, I guess we'll get into that story next week and see what exactly happened with creation in the first man and woman. 
I loved exploring this grand story of creation with you this week, and I can't wait to look at what happens next week in the story with all of you. Who's ready for a new memory verse? I love the first week of the month because I get so excited about our new memory verse. This month, I'm really excited about this one. There were so many great verses to choose from that I really had a hard time picking. But I finally decided on Romans 6, 23. Romans is a book in the New Testament, and it comes after the book of Acts and before the book of 1 Corinthians. Take a minute and find the book of Romans and then look for chapter six. And remember, chapter numbers are the big numbers. So you're looking for a big number six. Romans 6.23 is my favorite verse to use when I share the gospel with someone. And I think next week, after we look at our story, we're going to explore how to share the gospel with this verse. But for now, let's practice our new verse together. Are you ready? For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 6.23 What an incredible verse. It may be a little confusing for you right now, and that's okay. Next week, we're going to break it down a little bit more. I want you to take this week though and write this verse on maybe your mirror, wherever you get ready, or put it over your dinner table. Put it somewhere high and where you'll see it every day and just practice saying this verse this week. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. This week, Pastor Jacob shared all about when God created everything. Is this not so cool that everything we can see, God created? But you know what else? God created everything we can't see. Today for our craft, you'll need coffee filters, blue and green markers, water, contact paper, black construction paper, and scissors. First, decorate the coffee filter like the world. If you don't have a coffee filter, you can just decorate a piece of paper. Next, take a spray bottle of water and spray the coffee filter. This will make your drawing look like watercolors. Then trace your hands and arms on black construction paper. Cut them out. Finally, attach them all together. If you have contact paper, you can cover your creation in contact paper. You can even hang it in your window for the sun to shine through. Boys and girls, this is to remind you that no matter what is going on, God has the entire world in His hands. Not only did He create everything in the world and beyond, but He loves us. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye!